What is going on guys, Ghost Pain here. Welcome back to Madden 23. It's been a month now since I posted a Madden vid, but I was really eager to see these Team of the Year cards come out. They have been released for about a few weeks now, and I wanted to get as much of them as I needed to upgrade the team to as good as most of the teams we're gonna be playing against. So I did get three of the packs, um, one from the Team of the Week challenges and two I just bought. But anyway, we get a fine selection here on our first pack between Jamar Chase, Micah Parsons, and then the Specialists. We have Tommy Townsend, punter for the Chiefs. Now, for me, it was between either Parsons or Chase. Both of them would have been great. It really sucked that I could only pick one. But I did ultimately go with Micah Parsons. Felt like we needed an upgrade at linebacker more than receiver. But spoiler alerts, guys, there will be upgrades at other positions than what you're going to see in these pack openings. But the second pack here, we get a fine selection with Tyree Kill and Chris Jones. He is one of the cards I wanted most coming into the team of the year, as well as this guy, Kyle Juszczyk, fullback for the Niners. Really wanted him as well. Was a tough decision between him and Chris Jones. And as you can see, compared to Reggie Gilliam, much faster, much stronger. Isn't better at run blocking, but is better at lead blocking. Isn't as good at impact blocking, but still a great blocker as Kyle Juszczyk. Most importantly, he's got all that speed, mainly for kickoff returns. If anybody thinks of kicking it off to the fullback, which a lot of players like to do. Here's Chris Jones compared to Dexter Lawrence. Now, obviously, he's going to outshine him, being plus three more in overall. Aside from tackling, he outshines him in everything. Speed, strength, block shedding, all that stuff. So, I did ultimately go with Chris Jones. So, I told you I wanted his card. He was, he was one of the most requested for me so really glad I got to choose him really glad to have him on the team eager to see how he works out so the third and final pack you're going to see me open when it comes to team of the year is this one we get a selection between either Jason Kelsey and Micah Parsons shows up again obviously we don't need them so it's either between Eckler or Jason Kelsey but for me, it was an easy choice because I have another running back in mind when it comes to team of the year. You guys will see who it is in a second. So it was an easy choice when it came to the third pack. Jason Kelsey, we have his ultimate legend card as well. This is a nice upgrade. And here you go, guys. Here's the team, or the offense at least. Josh Allen at quarterback. He got an honorable mention. Really glad he did because he should have been had a new card sooner or later. I believe Jalen Hurts was voted as Team of the Year quarterback, but I am happy with Josh Allen getting a card as well. Christian McCaffrey, as I stated, we I liked him better than Eckler, so I chose him to be our running back. Kyle Juszczyk and Jamar Chase are on the team. Justin Jefferson has been upgraded. Pete Metzelar is a tight end, ultimate legend from the Bills. And on the O-line, you see Jason Kelsey. Abraham Lucas at right tackle is new. As is Quentin Nelson at left guard, eager to get his team of the year card eventually. And there's the offense, guys. On defense, there's Micah Parsons and Chris Jones. You guys see them on the team. But the main focus on defense was the secondary. We added Marcus Williams, gridiron card at free safety. Derwin James, he is another card I really wanted. I had to get him, even if I didn't get him in a packet. I wasn't going to play Matt without him. He is one of my favorite defensive players, and I'm really glad he got a Team of the Year card. So, As for the rest of the secondary, we have Pat Sertan, Sauce Gardner has been upgraded, and Kair Elam, really, really good secondary. And the rest of the D-line, it's Kenny Clark and Max Crosby, which is our big upgrades at their spots. And there's the team, guys. Special teams, not a whole lot of changes. There are the specialists, and chances are the team is going to stay this way, aside from several positions, till the rest of the Madden year. And there you go, guys. There are teams we're going to be playing against. Most other players are going to have teams that are just as good, if not better, than mine. As Lee kicking off to Jamar Chase, his first attempt at taking one back, and Chase to about the 19. 
So good, good starting field position. Here's Allen, his first throw, and he completes it to Garrett Wilson. That's good for about 10, and it's good for a first down. So first and 10 at the 29. McCaffrey, his first carry. That's good for 11 down at the 40. So first and 10, another handoff, and McCaffrey up the middle, powering his way for about eight. And already McCaffrey's got about 20 yards on two carries. So pretty good as Allen next play just going to take off himself, slides at the 45, gets seven yards, which is good enough for a first down as Allen next play looking for Jefferson, his first catch, but that's only good for one. So second and nine, Allen under heat, and he is sacked by Cameron Jordan. Lost a six on the play. Third and 15, Allen to Jamar Chase, his first catch, and he's brought down by his shoestrings. Could have had a touchdown there, but he's down at the 15. Next play, Allen to Justin Jefferson. That's a touchdown. We get to see the gritty. Main reason why I wanted Jefferson and Chase on the team was so we could see them do that dance. As the extra point is up and good, we have put ourselves up by seven to start the game. 104 left in the first quarter. This guy will have a chance to answer back though, and he'll start with the Tyree Kill return to about the 15. So he will have a longer way to go than we did, but he's got Pat Mahomes who's in the zone, dumps it off to Warwick Dunn. Dunn breaking the tackle, getting about six on that play. Sets up second and four, Mahomes. Looking for Johnson on the right, it is caught past midfield to the 48. So first and 10, Mahomes over the middle looking for Johnson, but knocked away by Jalen Smith, falls incomplete, second and 10. Mahomes under pressure from Parsons, that one falls incomplete. Third and 10, three seconds left in the first, Mahomes over the middle to Kelsey, can Kelsey get the first? He can, out of bounds at the 41. Gain of 11, first and 10 at the 41. Mahomes under pressure, goes down. Max Crosby in on the sack, loss of five. Next play over to the left. This is caught by Tyree Kill. Out of bounds right at the marker. They do mark him inches short though. But next play, Mahomes to an open. Keyshawn Johnson on the right, and that is a touchdown. Great touchdown, great answer by this guy. After falling behind 7-0, he has come back to tie the game. 3.08 left in the half, and we are tied at 7. As Lee going to kick this one off, and Chase just going to wisely take the touchback this time. So we start at the 25. We start with the McCaffrey run, but John Madden crashing through immediately. Loss of 2. Allen next play finds an open Jefferson and Jefferson making the moves down at about the 39. So first and 10, here's Allen with time, only rushing three. He finds Garrett Wilson. He's past the 45 to about the 43. First and 10, two minutes left in the half. Here's Allen with time, only rushing three. Gonna take off himself. Has the first down past the 30 at the 28. So clock running out, a minute 30 left in the half. Allen going to take off himself again, past the 15 to about the 10. We'll set up first and 10 at the 11. A minute left before half, Allen is hit by John Madden. He's sacked for a seven yard loss. 30 seconds left in the half, Allen with time, but nobody open and time runs out. Chris Jones coming in on the sack, loss of five. Third and 22, Allen gonna try for Jefferson, but that's a nice play made by the safety. Falls incomplete, batted down. Fourth and 22, six seconds left. We do take the field goal. We do get a roughing the kicker penalty, but with only three seconds left, I thought it'd be best to take the field goal anyway. So three seconds left, this guy's gonna have to take this back if he wants points before halftime, and he might get it. Tyree Kill, space on the left, blazing speed. But he's tackled there by Calvin Johnson. I would have been sick had he taken that one back. But he does get it a chance, another chance here. Start of the second half, Tyree Kill, not even gonna get to the 15 there, marked down at the 10. So Mahomes has got to go 90 yards to pay dirt. Starts the done handoff. That's good for about two. Second and eight. Here's Mahomes with time. Looking to the right. Open is Johnson, but overthrew him. Did Pat Mahomes. Falls incomplete. Third and eight. Over the middle. This is caught by Dunn. Dunn breaks the tackle. 
and he's down right at the marker. They do give it to him, first and 10 at the 21. Here's Mahomes with time, looking over the middle, but a bad pass here, easily picked off by Derwin James, and James past the 30, trying to return this, hit by Mahomes, and he stood up at about the 15. But does give us great field position, first and 10 in the red zone. Here's McCaffrey stiff arming a man, but nowhere to go except down. That's a loss of six. Second and 16, here's Allen. Gonna take off himself inside the 10 to about the seven. That's good for a first down, first and goal at the seven. Here's McCaffrey on the handoff, breaks the tackle, stiff arms his way into the end zone for the touchdown. What an effort by Christian McCaffrey there, and he has put us up by 10. A minute 51 left in the third. This guy is going to have to score some points on this drive if he wants to have a chance. But he's got Tyree Kill, who nearly took one back at the end of the first half. That time he takes it to about the 20. So Mahomes going to have to recover from that interception. Finds Keyshawn Johnson, I believe, over the middle for about 11 yards at the 30, but next play he's hit by Micah Parsons again. Ball falls incomplete. Second and 10, tries a flat pass, but this is picked off by Kair Elam, and that is gonna be the dagger as he takes this one all the way back for the score. And this guy knows it, and that is why he rage quits, so that's actually our second win of the season. We did get a first win from a guy that quitted before the game even started. So we're not even gonna show that. That's just a waste of time. But here is our third game. We're looking for our third win of the season and we have a pretty good challenger here. Not only does he have some pretty good overall cards, he has a Chiefs team chemistry team and that is a good team to have chemistry from as they are the defending Super Bowl champs. As Allen looking for Chase, the first play, that is dropped. Next play, nearly threw a pick there. Luckily, it gets dropped. Third down and 10. Over the middle, this is caught by Jefferson. He's down at the 35, good for 20 yards. So first and 10, handoff to McCaffrey. That only gets a few. Second and seven, Allen to the left. This is caught by Jefferson. Makes a move past midfield to about the 47. So into Chiefs territory, first and 10. Here's Allen looking over the middle, but he's hit by John Madden, I believe. Ball falls incomplete. Second and 10 over the middle. This is caught by Metzelars. That's good for 15 and a first down at the 32. So Allen next play under heat, hit by John Madden again. Ball falls incomplete. That will set up second and 10 to the left. This is Garrett Wilson out of bounds at the 21. Good for a first down gain of 11 as Allen to the corner of the end zone. Chase caught it but couldn't keep his feet in. It's incomplete. Oh, that should have been a touchdown here. But here we find Metzelars. That's good for 12 yards and a first down at the 10. Allen dumps it off to McCaffrey and McCaffrey inside the five to the three. So second and three at the three yard line. Allen looking to the left for McCaffrey, but that is dropped. Third down and three, need to score something here, but Allen can't find nobody and he goes down. Chris Jones on the sack, back at the 12 and we are forced to take the field goal, go up by three. And with the, how good our defense is now, I am okay with taking the three or punting if I have to. But anyway, 20 seconds left in the first. This guy will have a chance. And Dion, or Leon Sandcastle, whatever you want to call him. I'm still going to call him Dion Sanders. Who is that quarterback? Handoff to Jamal Charles. First play, that's a gain of five. Then he throws to Jamal Charles. Next play, that's good for a first down. And 11 yards at the 38. As Dion looking to the right. This is caught by Travis Kelsey, I believe. And that's a first down at right at midfield. So first and 10 handoff to Jamal Charles who powers his way for about 11 yards there. That's first down at the 38. Next play, Dion to a wide open Rob Gronkowski. And that's about as easy as it gets when it comes to touchdowns. And this guy has marched and has taken the lead. With 2.31 left to go in the half, he has taken a four point lead. So our offense is going to have to answer back. 
So Chase taking this for a touchback. Wise decision. We start at the 25. Allen to Garrett Wilson. That's good for about five as he stood up at the 30. Second and five, Allen with time, lots of it. Allen taking off himself past the 40 to the 42. First and 10 with two minutes left. This is caught by Jefferson. That's good for about 14. Down at the 46, first and 10. Allen to the left. This is caught by Wilson. He's out of bounds, stops the clock at 132. First and 10 at the 34, caught by Metzelars over the middle, and he's in for the touchdown. And that will give us the lead back, pending the extra point, up and good. We are up by three again, but we did give this guy a minute 28, and he has two timeouts, certainly plenty of time to get a touchdown, or at worst, he could get a field goal. But anyway, Dion taking this to about the 17. So a minute 25 for Dion to work with on offense, and Dion to the left, bad pass though. He was looking for Tyree Kill, covered by Sauce Gardner, and who gets the interception and has us set up at midfield. So we've got a chance to tack on to our lead. We find Garrett Wilson for about 11 there. So first and 10 at 36. We also got Allen in the zone, but McCaffrey loses a few, probably knocked us in a field goal range. But right here, we find Chase over the middle. That's good for about seven or nine. That certainly is Jake Elliott rate range, but we want to get the touchdown if we can. As we find Metzelars at the 22, sets up first and 10. Meanwhile, Allen over the middle. This one's picked off by Porter. He was looking for Chase and a bad mistake there on my part, giving the ball away with that amount of time when we could have extended it by three. But Dion makes a horrible decision here, looking for Anquan Boldwin, but it's picked off by Marcus Williams, and he sets us up at the 21, already within field goal range, and only 15 seconds left. We're just gonna take this one down to the wire and kick the field goal at the final three seconds, put us up by six, but this guy does get the ball coming out of half, so a touchdown and an extra point will put him ahead again as he'll have Deion Sanders or Leon Sandcastle hand off to Charles, and he is met by Derwin James for a loss of one. Second and 11 over the middle. I don't know how he got that pass through, but that is caught by Hill for 10 yards. So third down and one. Here's Dion looking right. This is caught by Gronk past the 40 to the 42. So moving the ball along, quick throw here to Anquan Bolden. That's good for a first down, down at the 42. First and 10. Runs the trap play to Charles again, and Jamal able to get four there. So two minutes left in the third. Over the middle, it's caught by Charles, and Charles able to power his way for a few more. Gain of 11, first and 10 at the 26. So Dion calling some signals, motioning people here. And Dion over the middle looking for Gronk, but hit by Marcus Williams. Ball falls incomplete. Second and 10. Here's Dion under pressure. Nobody open. Knees sacked by Chris Jones, who finally gets in there. Sets up third down and 19. Looking to the right for Bolden, but this is picked off by Kair Elam. Great coverage there. Just a bad pass on Dion's part. And we have the ball at the 14 and a first down as Kyle Juszczyk gets the catch, his first touch of the ball, and that's good for about 30 yards. I tell you, Kyle Juszczyk, he is very fast for a man of his size, and he showed it there as McCaffrey losing a yard. It's not a good game for McCaffrey, especially rushing. As we find, I believe, Justin Jefferson for about seven there. Third down and four. Needs something here, and Allen finds a wide open Jamar Chase, who just goes down at the 30. Didn't want to risk getting hit and fumbling there. So we do got enough for a field goal if we need to take it as we hand the ball off twice to McCaffrey. No gain on first or second down. Hand off to McCaffrey again. He's able to push for about five. So fourth down and five, a minute 38 left in the game. We do take the field goal, go up by nine. So this guy will have a minute 37. He has three timeouts, but he's got to score twice to either take the lead or tie. Anyway, here's Leon Sandcastle or Deion Sanders, whatever, finds Gronk wide open at the 
right. He's down at the 30. First and 10 in our zone at the 30. Looking over the middle for Gronk. And he is in for the touchdown. Makes the catch. Two plays. He takes it the distance. Two throws to the big Rob Gronkowski. And with a minute eight left, he has cut the lead to two. Now the question is, does he onside kick it or does he kick it deep? He's lined up to kick it deep. So he's going to trust his defense here. Now what does Chase do? Chase is going to take this one out to bleed out some clock. But Chase able to find an opening on the left. Chase, pass midfield. Being chased by Smith. Can he make it? He could go. Not quite all the way, but all the way to the six. 58 seconds left. And, well, this guy knows it. He knows the game is over. Actually, the game probably couldn't have been over. He could have held me to a field goal and still gotten a winning touchdown, but decided to quit after that return. And that is going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like if you did. My name is Ghost Payne, and I will see you later.